What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Hellerman Exotics. It's your boy, Tommy Boy Philly. And tonight, I'm going to talk with you guys about something called the endocannabinoid system. Okay? Say that 10 times real fast. The endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is a biological system composed of endocannabinoids. And what that means is your body has a system and that system responds to cannabis when we consume cannabis, when we smoke cannabis, uh, when we use the topical ointment. And the endocannabinoid system is where all your mental health, your mind, it's the system where the cannabis is used medically to help people with their depression, their anxiety, inflammation for people that are diabetic. I mean, through the endocannabinoid system, there's mental benefits of cannabis and there's physical benefits of cannabis. And the endocannabinoid system is responsible for uh, the neurological and biological functions, including eating, anxiety, learning, memory, reproduction, metabolism. These are all different things that we, you know, the endocannabinoid system effects. So what's the purpose of the uh, endocannabinoid system? What's the point of the endocannabinoid system? And any questions you guys have, you can post them at a later time. I'm probably not going to get too many people live in the beginning. Uh, this podcast, right now we're talking about the endocannabinoid system, but it's about the cannabis culture, the medical benefits of cannabis, and changing the negative narrative that cannabis has had for so long. So the purpose of the endocannabinoid system helps regulate your appetite, memory, and your immune system. It also helps to control our sleep cycle and helps us manage stress. So through the endocannabinoid system, by consuming cannabis, you know, I'll speak from a personal point of view. My With my system, I have a heart condition. I have diabetes and I purposely let you guys see all these medications right here because those are my heart medications. And there would be double that if it wasn't for cannabis. Uh, cannabis has its medical benefits. And I know from personal experience, not only just from research done by doctors. So it helps control our sleep cycle and it even helps us manage stress. Uh, one of the biggest parts of the endocannabinoid system is it helps you manage stress when you consume cannabis. You're your body reacts with anything natural. See, I'm about to give you a spiritual education, a biblical from the Quran, from all the books. We come from the dirt. You know that, people? We come from the dirt. We come from the ground. That's where God created us from, and back to the dirt will return. But think about this. Fruits and vegetables, they come from the dirt. Other plants, they come from the dirt. So... We eat plants, we eat fruits and vegetables, we consume plants, we consume fruits and vegetables, and it's actually good for us, okay? I'm not talking about the young boy getting stoned, sitting on the sofa. I'm not talking about just getting fried out your mind for no reason, which I did when I was a kid. I'm talking about actual medical benefits of cannabis. So we're talking about the endocannabinoid system. We talked about what it is. We talked about its purpose. How do we activate the endocannabinoids? This is something that is an interesting subject here for me. Endocannabinoids and activates the cannabinoid receptors in your body, making you more responsive to the signals that it's sent. The study suggests that a single session of resistance exercises activates the endocannabinoid system. It's talking really about consuming cannabis. Just like regularly consuming caffeine enhances the activation of people giving them energy. It's similar. Uh, the endocannabinoid system is where the, uh, the healing receptors and the healing powers work on the different sicknesses, work on the stress that help us with our appetite, uh, that help us with our mood and all those different things. 
how does the body produce endocannabinoids? We all have them. A variety of tissues in the body, including brain, muscle, fatty tissues, immune cells, produce small quantities of endocannabinoids. There's two main endocannabinoids. If you want to get that deep into the subject, you're going to have to go to school for it like me. So just know um, I share with you guys about the endocannabinoid system. Let's talk a little bit more. What does it do? The endocannabinoid system, and we're going to say some big words here, and we're all going to have to look them up. The endocannabinoid system influences neuronal synaptic communication and affects biological functions. Let me break that down for you. <laughs> you smoke weed, your body responds, and now you want to eat. It'll help you with your anxiety. Some people for focus, learning, and memory. It actually helps with these things. Some people as you get older. That's why it's important that we don't smoke cannabis when we're 12 or 13. Because your mind is not developed at that age. So the endocannabinoid system, as we consume the cannabis, it helps us with our eating, anxiety, learning, memory, reproduction. Hello, somebody. You don't need Viagra to get your heart going. You could smoke a J. <laughs> Metabolism, hello somebody, it helps our metabolism actually. Growth and development. And there's uh, some other studies that are being done uh, for, it, it helps inflammation with diabetic neuropathy, which I have. It helps me, man, my feet hurt. Um, cannabis helps me with the pain. See, people have the wrong idea. That's why we have to be careful as we're changing the narrative that we don't put it out there. Yeah, let's just get fried, man. Because there is a group of people that believe it's good for that and they enjoy it just for that. But me, myself, the cannabis actually helps me medically. And that's the biggest thing. I have, uh, I'll be open with you guys, I guess. Why not? I don't have anything weird. Uh, like, you know, so I have endocarditis, congestive heart failure, hypertension, high blood pressure, diabetes, and a few other things that I can't pronounce. And cannabis helps me with 50 to 60 percent of those medical issues that I have. I do have my medical card. I am prescribed by a doctor. So there is a right and a wrong way to use cannabis. Um, let's see what else we could talk about as far as the endocannabinoid system. I actually studied and I looked over some notes. Ooh, what are the symptoms of endocannabinoid deficiency? A lowered pain threshold, meaning that we can't deal with the pain like we used to. That might mean that you need to build up your endocannabinoid system. Improper regulation of digestion. You're not going to the bathroom right. Hello, somebody. Mood and sleep. Oh, you know what? And that goes to say you can overdo it also. Um there is a condition that is called cannabinoid hypernesis or nemesis or cannabinoid hypernesis, which I'll do another video on that, where people who smoked weed long term have stomach issues. And uh, my doctors are doing some research right now because it's helping with a lot of things, but it could affect other things. Like I said, there's still research. Um, smoking the tobacco paper is definitely no good. Uh, how you consume it is also very important. If you burn it at different temperatures, you get different results. Um, it's more than just a little green substance in a bag that's sold in the hood. It's not that. That's what Richard Nixon wanted you to believe. And that is what Ronald Reagan wanted you to believe. And when I got caught with that dime bag in a raid, when I was 18 years old and I got two years probation, that started, you know what? <laughs> Weed is not the gateway drug. The system is the gateway drug because I caught that weed charge off a dime bag of weed and I'm just now about to get off of papers. So let me share my experiences with you, not just reading it from a book. I am in college. I'm attending St. Joseph's University, a division two school where I would play basketball because I'm six foot four, but I'll be 46 and I have all these medical conditions including this uh, pacemaker right here. I got a pumper. 
So, like I said, I'm not. I'm just not out here uh, trying to big up weed and promote weed smoke and just be an idiot and talk about whatever. Even though that's what some of the comments are going to say and some of the people, it's cool. Like, comment, share. Do me that favor. Subscribe. Maybe you can educate me. You might see something and be like, you know what, man? Look at this is what it is. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Like I could learn from you too. So like, su subscribe, share, comment. <clears throat> I will get back to all your questions. Anything you want to ask about the endocannabinoid system. CBD. Yes, CBD is a cannabinoid. CBD has other medical benefits. A lot of cancer patients, um, different things. Um, the different types of cannabis have different kinds of terpenes, which are the flavors in uh, not only the flavors, but the different ingredients that have the cause and effect when you consume it. Those are the terpenes. And, uh, you know, you got to get the right ones for the right medical conditions. That's why it's important you consult with a medical person if you're trying to do this the right way. So. A lot of that information I gave you is from Harvard Health. It's also from St. Joseph's University, where I'm getting my master's degree in the business of cannabis. Um, yes, at 46 years old, I'm in college, and I thank God for it. So pray for me. It's your boy, Tommy Boy Philly. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the podcast. You have the right to your opinion. So if you don't like the podcast, you don't like the podcast. <laughs> Uh, shout out to the Skinny Joey and Merlino podcast, which is one of my favorites. You can learn a lot from these podcasts, okay? Um, let me see. Um, shout out to Franchise LA. Best gas in the East Coast, man. Franchise.LA on Instagram. The Skinny Joey Merlino podcast. Check them out on Patreon because YouTube likes to do stuff to people, which you will see soon. And I am learning. You can't say certain things on YouTube. You can't be yourself. You can't keep it real. So the Skinny with Joey Merlino is on Patreon. It's very inexpensive, and it's worth it for the content. Once again, it's your boy, Tommy Boy Philly. We talked about endocannabinoids. I can't smoke in my crib, but look at this. My young boys, I used to roll Bluntvilles, but now I roll backwoods, okay? This is just my backwood, Rochi. I'm about to go get my endocannabinoid on like comment, share, subscribe. I'm telling you, I'm going to have some guests on here that you're not going to believe. Celebrity guests, musicians, people in the underground black market world to talk about cannabis. We're going to change the narrative about cannabis and tell you the truth about cannabis and America and why all of a sudden the government loves cannabis, just like they love gold and they love oil. A $70 billion industry by the end of next year. It's your boy, Tommy Boy Philly. Thank you for tuning in. Hellerman Exotics, link, subscribe, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your boy. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And like I said, I'll answer all questions that are posted. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. God first, people second. Have a good night.